Hey, what up, Decisive Marketers? As some of you might have already know, Closest Copy is one of my favorite long form and uh, you know long form copywriting and uh, content writing too, right? So, uh, you know, and and I think Closest Copy has come a long way because last year when they launched, it was really just like a template library um, and closest copy started out as a direct response uh, copywriting tool where they actually give you a wizard and you pick the you know the copy that you want to create and then you pick and choose the different templates and build your own uh, you know sales copy so I and and I think that they have evolved along the way. They have uh you know ever since that they added um uh you know AI writing into their tool, they have turned it into not just a direct response copy tool, but it also has become a uh, content writing tool, a long form content writing tool, as well as. Uh, you know and and they have just added something that that makes it a little bit more like a SEO tool as well so it has become a more and more versatile tool and uh, they they just had an update just a couple of hours ago uh, and it's it's pretty uh, interesting and that's why that's why I want to show you um, how it looks like so before I dive into closest copy, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So this is the uh, this is the dashboard for closest copy. So I just put in a title here, you know, five health risks related to smoking. Okay, and what you want to be doing is uh, they have just added this particular feature here. It's called compete. Okay, and you can click on this. And uh, what happens is that you can actually put a search query or a URL. So what I've done is I've already I've I've actually put in a URL for this article here. Okay, so this is the article right here, and I've actually copied uh, the URL and pasted it in here, and it actually analyzed the uh, you know the outline of the the content for me right you actually out, uh, you know extract the outline for me so the h1 is the effects of smoking on the body and then you got central nervous system respiratory system and so on right so they, they tell you like this is the h2 okay so uh i like this okay you can actually you know shift the uh shift the uh, window uh to where you want it to be as well okay so i guess there is a uh, okay so yeah there we go All right so so the so what i personally would like to see is uh this is this is the um this is the the compete feature right so what i would like to see actually is that uh, we can actually have a hierarchy of the headings so not just tell me that this is h1 but we can actually have uh, this is h1 and then we have h2 and and h2 is actually like um, probably here right? it starts from here so that we kind of know the hierarchy of the uh, headings okay so uh, of course there's no question I'll come to that shortly uh, questions and stats and you can actually look at the keywords that are you know being identified in this piece of article so the word smoking has appeared 23 times 11 times uh, also and all that good stuff right so it's all all in here all the keywords that has appeared uh, are all in here okay anything that appear uh, twice or more right so they tell you your um your uh, they tell you the the keyword density and of course what whatever that you write in here they actually tell you what yours is okay what your keyword density is okay next is clusters so let me close the keywords first okay so it's analyzing for the cluster so it tells you that uh, this is the you know 
uh, cluster for smoking and then this one would be for tobacco right tobacco and then this one would be for uh, let me see nicotine okay along the lines of nicotine and this is for substances right so they kind of give you the keyword clusters uh, in here as well so what we're going to be doing right now is uh is uh also one more issue right so we can actually put a search query in here so um uh, let's put in uh harmful effects of smoking okay so if we're gonna put this in what the the one issue that you can can actually see here in the uh, v1 beta right now is that there is no choice for me to select which google uh that i want to be working with right so so i can't select like i want google singapore or google.com or google hong kong or google uk or google australia there's no selection uh in here right now so what i can what i uh think is that uh this might be giving me the us base uh, sorry the dot com base results okay so the dot, dot com base results uh and uh, I, I have no idea where the location is so the res the search results are not uh we, are, we we can't control the search results right here okay so yeah so for example if i were to search uh, harmful effects of smoking okay so the first one is cdc and then we got medical news today do we have that okay so we actually don't see medical news today so that means these search results are from some other google it's definitely uh there is is over here but it's you know of the wrong ranking right here so it's not following uh what i can see here and i don't see uh the uh, singapore government's website for health hub right so that i don't see that as well so this is definitely not from uh you know the the google search results of singapore so i can't um choose okay so that's something to take note of and uh we can actually uh add the outline in here just like that can you see that so the entire outline goes in or i can add them individually like this okay and it adds the entire article uh of that section okay and let's see all right so it actually adds the entire article of that section uh so it, it doesn't just add the outline okay so it adds the entire section in something to take note of and then uh add content so this this pastes the entire article in okay so this one pastes the entire article in and next is questions so these are the questions uh in here so uh these are questions okay it doesn't actually tell me where these questions are from it's probably uh questions within the uh article itself okay right it's probably questions within the article itself so uh so what what you have uh what they actually don't have right now is that they don't actually crawl uh reddit and quora uh and also google for the people also ask questions right so you can actually add them in next is stats so these are certain uh statistics right numbers that has appeared within the article itself and you can actually add them in just like that okay right and then we've got insights again so insights they will tell you uh you know how uh how many uh actually all of them actually will tell you the uh, number of characters words paragraphs uh sentences right so that's that's what uh the uh, compete the v1 beta has so my suggestions uh of course to improve the compete feature would be allow us to choose the google that we want to be selecting from because we will be competing in the uh you know the the google search engine of the location that we want to compete in 
okay and maybe if we can also add a couple of different search engine as well that would be awesome and uh with the so one thing about the outline issue is that uh you got to add the entire outline right you you have to add add the entire outline in here you can't add the individual outline so what happens is that if i want to be adding this and then this I can't right so so I gotta hit this and hit this oops and click on this one okay and I gotta remove the content within there right so if sometimes I just want the headings itself I don't really actually want the content in there because I want to create my own unique content right so that's something uh, I would say that they could improve on and also um, uh, you know questions as I mentioned uh, you know having that people also ask is very important because those that actually appear within the people also ask is um, actually what shows uh, what uh, the search results that actually has a featured snippet and that's what we want to uh you know capture as well if we are on that keyword itself so that's something to take note of uh that i think that they could um add in of course this is you know just version one i'm sure that they will continue to improve it um uh and i think that if they can add like a outline builder that would be great okay uh, if they can add a outline builder um, that would be great uh, for us to you know create our own out uh, not just outline but content briefs as well so we can put something like uh, for example in within the content brief there will be a section on the uh, uh, the tone okay and uh, pers uh, perspective right who who is writing this and who is the audience and what kind of language uh or readability level okay that i need to speak uh to so these are certain things that i feel uh closest copy could actually add on um because i think that you know some people are saying that uh, closest copy uh, you know the compete feature is great and I don't need some other tools that does the outline for me uh, I feel that it is still lacking in, in certain things like there's no custom uh, fields for us to uh, fill in uh, of course we can just type it within the document itself right and uh, I think these are my feedbacks and of course uh we have the uh keyword density right so we can actually compete based on the keyword density so right now with uh compete v1 it is only giving me like competing with this one article what if we can uh you know analyze the top 20 search results then compete uh based on that uh overall data right that could possibly help us uh, better and also like suggested keywords that we need to be adding into the article and uh, you know be able to allow us to to look at the the search results and compete with them uh, based on whether the the you know the the keyword has appeared so, so for example uh we have the keyword cluster right so maybe certain keywords are actually not mentioned in my competitors and that gives me a an opportunity to to rank on that keyword that these articles are actually not mentioning right so then i will then still be able to get some traffic from these articles itself right and um i think that's all i have for the compete uh update um i feel that closest copy is amazing the founder is amazing they they you know been adding so much updates it's, it's really um 
crazy of what they are doing. Uh, I personally still want to see uh, closest copy more of a direct response uh, tool because with all the AI hype out there and all the SEO content optimization uh, uh, hype out there, you know, we've we've already covered a lot of them, like outranking, writer zen, phrase. Uh, you know, there's also blogly that was uh, going on. Uh, previously there was market muse. There's so many of these tools right now, and also for the AI writing tool, there's there's way even more. Right. So so the problem is that um um I I think that that. It may not necessarily make sense to continue and compete within this uh, circle itself, whereas the focusing on long form uh, direct response sales letters might be the way to go. Uh, not just sales letters, but video sales letter, right? So video uh, sales letter scripts. Those would be those because there is a uh, huge market gap here that i don't see a lot of people trying to fill that up um i saw closest copy as what it is uh as a direct response uh, solution uh initially okay because there isn't uh any tool that does it like closest copy because closest copy gives you like a free from a free form uh writing editor text editor uh, and you can actually select templates and add in so with other copywriting tools out there for sales letters we got funnel scripts from uh, Russell Brunson we've got automatic scripts right uh, and then we've got uh, I think the one from Dan Lok as well so that and, and those tools are literally in, in my opinion are overpriced uh, templates Right, overpriced, overglorified uh, templates, and that isn't. Uh, whereas closest copy was, uh, what I saw was was you know, a a a uh, it was it was moving somewhere when when it comes to the uh, sales letters, and uh, of course you know I've spoken to the founder and they they have said that they would be going back uh, and working on their direct response features. And I am uh, honestly looking forward to it because what we want to be, what I want to see is that to bring uh, the awesome templates that, that Closest Copy uh, had and merge that with some sort of uh, AI copywriting that maybe allows us to rephrase and extend the long form sales copy uh, and, and, you know, uh, help us to you know write uh, better uh, sales letters right because uh, copywriting is really uh, not an easy job and that's why these copywriters they make tons of money and they can even uh, you know ask for upfront money and and uh, uh, before they even start writing and then still get royalties of the sales funnels uh, itself so I uh and, and 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 why they can command so much money uh it is because uh it's it's is really not an easy skill to pick up you got to really practice it you got to keep writing and writing and writing uh you know it, it's not something that you get good uh just over a day of practicing and uh, studying the topic itself right so pretty much that's all i have in this video uh i i hope you guys get good insight on the compete feature and uh also the maybe some future um ideas for closest copy and that's all i have i'll see you in my next video uh and uh if you um if you let me know what you think of <laughs> also let me know what you think about closest copy as well uh, especially with the new compete feature and uh, do hit uh, do give me a thumbs up if you like this video and i'll see you in my next video bye bye